welcome to the vlog. Now look, this is a little bit of sort of breaking news. Um, now I've been telling you about dealers going bust um, and we've known about the, the, um, the what do you call it? So again, hi and welcome to another vlog. Yeah, another vlog. And the reason why I'm doing another vlog is because basically there's a bit more news in the dealership um, side of the industry. And this is, the fact is, is that Spinney Group, who um, are, who started off as really as mainly motorhome dealers in the mid-70s uh, in Cheshire, um, over the recent years they've started to sort of expand and they've expanded, they talk in North Staff uh, caravans uh, some years ago and then they also then bought out um, uh, Flincher caravans uh, companies that I've been going down to since probably the late 90s and now they've gone and acquired another dealership and this dealership is Broad Lane Leisure at Leek Wharton. Now Broad Lane have been owned by the Browns since about 1971-72 and before then at Leek Wharton it was actually a Gailey branch. Now if you've heard about me talking about the industry Gailey were a big group uh, who became well they started I think about 1936-37 um, and over the years by the 50s They'd started after the war and everything, they'd started to expand and sort of by the 60s uh, and into the early 70s, uh, they had about around about 15 branches and became a really big, strong buyer, uh, big, strong, a strong major force in the car and industry. Uh, on the retail side, they covered uh, park homes, they also had holiday homes and also uh, apart from touring cars they also then went into motorhomes uh, I think around about the mid 70s now um, they also had uh, a couple of parks uh, residential parks but also they bought a company called Siddle Caravans um, uh, back in the late uh, around about 1960s early 60s and Siddle had been a very luxury Handcraft. I used to love the Siddle Caravans, they were, they were one of the early use of GRP um, for the front and um, for the, they just did it on the, for a one piece roof and also for a front and rear end uh, and they were made um, at Cheltenham um, but they, the, the business finished and um, Neville Siddle I think it was the owner uh, they, they got sold to a, uh, a subsidiary of Gale called Torton Bodies and they started to produce the Siddle Carven again. Um, the, the problem was um, by the time they sort of came back into the market a couple of years later uh, when Siddle were finished um, things had moved on in the industry and um, they basically a bit really lost their way. They were still a luxury, luxurious caravan but anyway I'm diversifying a little bit, but anyway, Gailey had the uh, Leek Wharton branch um, by Kenilworth Castle, and in turn, they uh, were uh, sold it out to um, Broadland Leisure, um, to the Browns. Um, now, I've got to know these guys pretty well over the years. Uh, father bought the business, and... Um, uh, started selling caravans and Broadland became a, a very well long established dealership. Um, now they bought, they had another deal, they had a couple of uh, other branches, they had one up in Coventry which I went to, that one that one finished, uh, they closed that one down and they got another one up at um, oh, Alster. Um, so they got a branch up there. Now I was down at the Leak Wooden One, I was down there two years ago. I did a review on a compact, um, Sprite Compact Tourer, their special edition. So they were well known for their fairway models. Um, but I found out today, um, and I've not heard anything more from anybody, 
But I found out today that it actually Broadlane has sold out to the Spinney Group. Um, and that's another um, branch, of course, now that makes Spinney an expanding um, overall company of caravan and motorhome dealers. Um, now this is quite amazing because I was telling you about them going, you know, other you know, we, we went on about uh, Robinson's um, parent company going into liquidation and, you know, the, the, magnets, the, the market stagnated, uh, which it has. Um, it has slowed right the way down and there'll be some mega discounts. Now, um, the interesting part is, is that you do get this sort of thing happening. Um, even in the poor times. Now the only problem is of course is that if a holding group goes um, it usually takes all the deals with it. I mean we talk about Discover Leisure um, when they went I think it was about 2010 something like that and they'd got several branches um, as I say Barons was a big Barons Great Outdoors which I'd known Barons from when I was a kid used to sell to their local branch here at Blackpool uh, before they got anywhere near the size they did. And they sold out to Discovery, they sold Harrington's um, and several other dealerships uh, around the country and when Discovery Group went it took all those dealers with it. Uh, and this is always the problem. Um, I'm not saying uh, that's going to happen with, with Broadlane or anything with Spinney. Uh, Spinney are a pretty strong group and I've watched them sort of expand over the years and their main branch up um, in, in Cheshire uh, is they've got a great showroom there etc and um, I've been going there a few years now I think I was there about ooh, a couple of years ago now um, and they started to sort of expand more into the caravan side of business so they had been really purely motor they used to do a few used vans because um, I remember going Again, it'd be about 2000, 2009, 2010 it would have been. And they didn't do much the way of caravans at all um, from their Cheshire branch. It was all motorhomes. And um, still a big motorhome dealership. But now, of course, they've moved over into more caravan stuff. And they bought French caravans, as I said before. Um, it had been, again, uh, quite a, a long established family business. And same with North Staff's caravans, uh, Newcastle under line. They've been going since about 1947. So uh, they say, and I've not been there for a while actually, but um, they had in fact been well established and spinning bought them. Uh, so will this be the start of a few deals being bought out again? I don't know. It's a hard one. I, I really wouldn't like to say. Um, but you know we've just heard to say from uh, Robinson's that thing that side of it going the opposite way and we've got Spinner here who are, who are buying up the dealers now I'm surprised that uh, Broadlane have sold out I don't know if they sold the um, Alster branch uh, I think at the moment I think it is just basically the, the one at Lake One I might be wrong on that uh, if I find out anymore I'll give you some more info but it came as a bit of a shock to me. Uh, I know uh, Darren and Steve Brown, I've uh, known for a good number of years, great bunch of guys, and uh, very, very, very enthusiastic about the business. Um, always looking for the next ideas, and they've expanded um, their portfolio from sort of just doing tours to doing camper vans, motorhomes, and yeah, they've they've really sort of. Got, they're all really well established dealership so I thought it was worth coming out with this with this vlog will we see any more dealers getting bought out it remains to be seen um, Spinny obviously have got faith in the industry to go and do that uh, usually when things are going on people start to sell off a dealer you know uh, uh, one of their dealerships uh, and, and shrink it down a bit but Spinny seem to be going the opposite way do they know something we don't um, so anyway pretty go ahead company Spinny and it's, it's a slow steady expansion uh, but it does make you wonder 
what's going to be the next move of the industry? What will I be coming up with next? What will we say? All I can say is watch your space and I'll always come up with uh, some, you know, whatever news there is. Um, and I think since Robinson's thing, you know, everything's gone a bit topsy-turvy. Again, this is just history repeating itself. You know, lots of dealers were being bought out um, back in the day. Um, I mean, you know, uh, Gailey were buying, like I said, but literally bought a lot of dealers out over in the 70s. Um, and again, the only trouble was they did expand dramatically. And of course, when the early 80s came out and the big downturn came, and that was a massive downturn, believe me, you know, companies were just dying off left, right and centre. Um, and so some of the dealers were just, were just fading away. Uh, some of the bigger dealers were struggling to survive. Um, Gailey uh, were a, a quite a big, big um, company that also succumbed to the recession at that time and um, fizzled away. Now, Gailey is still a branch, so I don't think that's gone. That one, that's my friend there, Mark. And I'm going to go down and see him sometime this year. I'm going to get down there, I'm going to do a video. But that he, where he is, was the original Gailey, Gailey uh, Caravans at Gailey. And um, that was, I say, 1936, 37 way um, that started. So very long established dealership there. Uh, over the years, had a bit of a hit check of history. Um, uh, you know, been taken over by private, private individuals and run and sold off again. And now Mark's got it, but it's still a dealership there. So I'm really glad about that. But we'll keep an eye on what's going on in the industry. And it's all going on it's it's all happening right um well after that uh i'm gonna, I'm gonna go have a, a, a strong cup of tea and uh i'm gonna sort of reflect on it. if i get any sort of news or feedback that i can publicly come out with then i'll um, then i'll do that um wednesday i'm off to see us a little small dealer um that's been operating in this area for a few years and as it happens i, I know him and he knows me um, he'd worked for um, Stuart Longton Cowans. Again, that's all been uh, changing there. There's been sort of buyouts from of the family and, and what have you. Uh, a few changes there. So lots of things going on, actually. So um, hopefully, as I say, you know, um, the industry will turn that corner and sort of hopefully get back. It'll never be how it used to be. There's, there's nothing like that. You know, we need to be looking at least 20,000 new caravans a year sold. I've got my theories. I still think uh, value for money, cheaper range, light range, uh, narrow caravans that people can actually store on the drive, they can store a caravan on the drive, they can tow with a hybrid car. Family, family layouts and affordable, affordable prices. I think even if it's a fairly basic caravan, a lot of people will go and use the site facilities. I know I would, and, was, and, 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 and just looking through the archives I've been doing now, I mean, I've been spent, I spent about six hours this afternoon uh, putting stuff away, and I was sort of, as you do, flick through, which is always fatal, saw stuff through there, and, and saw some of the caravans, and, and the cheaper end of the market was so, so far, far better um, uh, supplied with, 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 what I call lightweight value for money caravans that families could afford and they could tow and um, get them on the new market caravan, new market uh, buying a caravan so because you know there's been some exciting times in the industry well that's for me anyway um, and I think um, we need to do something to stimulate that market and I still think there needs to be a cheap range of UK caravans and quality built caravans so anyway thanks for uh, thanks for watching and thanks for all the new subscribers coming on and all the comments that's coming through it's just been incredible this 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 last week for my channel i'm really really pleased thanks for watching please keep subscribing please keep liking and please keep commenting and as i said watch this space <laughs>